In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Wild Update. Now, the Wild Update, or 1.19, has recently had some notable changes that have been removed from the update. Most notably, the Fireflies and the Birch Forests. Now, originally, Fireflies were supposed to be added either as a new mob or as some sort of ambience, and also Birch Forests were supposed to get updated. But sadly, those two features are now removed from the 1.19 update. That may possibly return in the future, but knowing Mojang, it is kind of unlikely unless a lot of people want it. Now, the strange thing about this is that most of the people wanted this update. Most people wanted the Fireflies and the Birch Forest to finally get an update, as Birch Forest look like this right now. I know it looks really bad, and I really agree that it does need an update. But other than that, I... Uh, also, think that Fireflies would not be too much to add as literally there are two pixels. And I get the reverse in that we are crying about two pixels, but obviously these are a pretty cool thing to add for an ambience in the new Wild Update. And that's what it's called, the Wild Update. But what's really been added that is really in the Wild Update has just been the swamps. Other than that, it has actually just been the ancient cities which I doubt I would really call wild. That's more of a Caves and Cliffs update, and most people are actually calling this Caves and Cliffs Part 30, which I kind of agree to a certain point because there hasn't been any real update. This kind of feels like 1.15, but obviously I feel like the Warden is kind of a big update in itself, but I feel like they should have bring that into 1.18 rather than making a whole new 1.19 update. Just focus on that. And that's how it's really been for this. If you haven't seen the video, I'll play a clip up on screen right now of them talking about the Firefly and the Birch Forest. Fireflies was originally part of the plan for the Wild Update. We wanted them to be a food source for the new frogs. But then we got great feedback from you guys in a lovely community. And you taught us that a lot of species of fireflies and firebugs that are out there are poisonous to toads and frogs. And of course we didn't want to add that into our game. So we provided the frogs with a safer food source, the tiny slimes. And fireflies are sadly no longer part of the plans for the wild update. We still think that the fireflies are super interesting as an idea and a concept and they're part of our ideas library. But we don't have any concrete plans for adding them in any upcoming update. As with the birch forest, that is a little bit different. At Minecraft Live we did show some concept art with birch forest improvements. However, concept art is not a commitment and this time around birch forest improvement is not something that we have continued working with. Now after watching that video initially, I had a weird perspective on it. Now it's kind of like them telling us forcibly that no, we are not going to add this in the update. It's just been a concept for the birch forest and the fireflies are now dangerous to frogs. Which it obviously makes sense for the fireflies. But they could also make fireflies without having the frogs eat them. And they could still keep the new slimes that are getting eaten. But also just add fireflies within the area. It doesn't even have to be in mangrove swamps where the frogs will spawn. It could be in any location possible. It could be in the nighttime during like forests or anything else. It would just make the ambience of the environment really good. Similar to how they did in the nether with the little floating particles. Now it could just be that, like the floating particles, or it could be a whole new mob within itself. Obviously it could be either, but I feel like it'd be a really good thing to add in this update considering we haven't gotten much additions. But now the birch forest. Now I think this personally needed the biggest update. Obviously the birch forest have just been basically the same forest as the oak forest, but it's just reskinned into a birch tree. Now personally, I really do think birch trees should be taller and have more sunlight like in the concept art. Also, the mushrooms being on the side of them would have been really cool to add in this update. Once again, it would be adding to the name the wild update instead of making it caves and cliffs part 3. 
But them showing concept art and this being focused around a wild update, the community expected it to be added. And sadly, it was not. But I do hope they actually do this in the future and actually add more wild updates in it. Now, what they may do, and I kind of doubt this, but at this point, it's kind of looking like it. They may do a wild update part two at this point, although they probably wouldn't since they wouldn't announce it like that. They'd probably call it something else. It seems like this would have been split up into two parts to actually make it the wild update. But obviously, they could add a whole bunch of new stuff, but it's pretty much seeming like the updates are slowing down and they're getting ready to release 1.19. Which is totally fine, it is up to them, and personally, I would like the worm to finally be in the official releases of the game. But yeah, it's kind of weird how they now removed the fireflies, the two pixels will be not forgotten. But yeah, it's kind of weird that they removed our two pixels. Now, I feel like that would have been just fun to have or something. And then there's all the other stuff that they didn't add that was announced, I think, back in 1.17. With all the archaeology stuff and the clay pots and a bunch of more stuff like that. Which I think would actually fit into the wild update. Although I didn't really think that faded Minecraft that much, it would have been interesting to have an update on that. Or to see if we're actually getting that, like they kind of denounced the uh, fireflies and the birch forest in that Minecraft video. But I'm still hopeful that we can at least get the firefly in the new wild update. And if not, I still think the wild update will be actually pretty good considering it adds the warden and actually makes the swamps pretty good. But anyways, that's kind of it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, what do you actually think about the wild update? Is it just Caves and Cliffs Part 3? Or do you actually think it will be a great update? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified for that. But yeah, see you guys.